My first guest tonight is a, a very funny comedian who's going to be uh, per appearing at the Ulster Performance Arts Center in Kingston, New York, tomorrow night. So check him out there. Please welcome Boston's own Stephen Wright. You can't say the word midget anymore. You can't say the word midget anymore. But the midgets aren't gone. The midgets aren't gone. Neil Armstrong doesn't travel anymore. Neil Armstrong doesn't travel anymore. But the midgets aren't gone. The midgets aren't gone. Good guitar work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was amazing, yeah, Stephen. I yeah. I studied guitar in France when taught by this brilliant accordion player. <laughs> <laughs> he taught me guitar rather than accordion for security reasons. <laughs> Let's talk about the hat. <laughs> you got the old uh, Red Sox hat. Big Red Sox fan? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I watch all the games, and I go to as many games as I can, but I don't consider myself a fan. And, uh... <laughs> baseball is a big part of my life, and I'm looking forward to the start of the season. You enjoy it that much, huh? Yeah. And you? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. What do you do when you're not performing, you know, besides performing? Oh, like, that's not enough? <laughs> Apparently not. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. I, I had two things mood. haven't been the same since my birth. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's 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 tough. You you yeah. working on other stuff yeah, though? Yeah, I'm, I'm writing a book. You're last, writing a book. The last few months I've been working on a book. Oh, that's cool. What's what's the book about? I don't know because I haven't read it. I'm. <laughs> I try to write faster than I can read because uh -huh. I think that if you think about something too much, it you know it'll screw it up. So I'm trying to write faster than I can read. And uh, but a friend of mine's looked at some of it. Apparently, I'm writing about previously unknown religious information. Previously unknown religious information. Yeah, like things like Jesus's friends were always mad at him because they would always be saying, "Will you stop turning the water into wine? I'm trying to take a shower." <laughs> Uh, I, did you know that? I didn't know that, no. I didn't know that either before I researched it. <laughs> and uh, have you read the New Testament and the Old Testament cover to cover to cover to cover? <laughs> no, I have not. No, yeah. not that religious, no. Well, you know, you know, the New Testament is, is pretty uh, old. <laughs> so they shouldn't call it new? I think they should call them the Old Testament and the Most Recent Testament. <laughs> And, uh, You've given this a lot of thought. Yes, I have, you know, this, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I'm... <laughs> That's I'm a all, nice transition. You know, I'm also uh, working uh -huh. on a summer program reading books to horses. Because... You, you read books to horses? Yes, the horses can't read, but they like stories, too. <laughs> children can't read, and people read them to children. Right. I consider horses just big children with hoofs. <laughs> I have a clip of me reading a. You have a clip off. of you reading Re stories to horses. Yes, I do. Let's take a look at that clip. <laughs> okay, I, I saw the horse. I didn't. I don't think I'm the only one. I didn't see you reading to the horse. Cameraman's no good. <laughs> uh-huh. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, Where's Andy? Uh, he... <laughs> Where have you been? He's not on the show anymore. He, he oh, left. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. <laughs> I can, 
I can see through you like a fishing net. <laughs> Can't explain he that. He told me if I was ever here and he wasn't here and you were here, that right. something was up. <laughs> something. <laughs> Something's up? Yeah, something maybe like alien abductions or something, and that maybe that you're not really the real Conan, like <laughs> you're some alien Conan, and that I should ask you questions, and you know, like if I asked you who the fourth president of the United States was, and that would determine whether you were an alien Conan or a real Conan. Who is the fourth president of the United States? <laughs> James Madison. He told me that if you knew or you didn't know, it would prove you were an alien. <laughs> because, so I'm an alien. Because aliens go by a different logic. But I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if you're the real Conan or the fake Conan. I, I don't give a <laughs> We're on the show. <laughs> That's not on the show. Well, You're on the show. <laughs> well, bleep we're that part. We're having fun, right? This is the most fun I think I've ever had. <laughs> Are you having a good summer? Are you enjoying the summers here now? And I know that you're a guy that really likes to cut loose and I, have fun. I, I, uh, consider... You, you get uncomfortable when I get this close, don't yes, you? Yes, but... <laughs> <laughs> There's a line, if you go closer, I'll get more comfortable. <laughs> I think summer is the best season this time of the year. <laughs> and uh, I like to barbecue. I like to put on way too much lighter fluid, you know? Really? I'll go in, give me a case of lighter fluid. I'll just have flame. I don't even cook. <laughs> I cook charcoal. You just, you just right. And I look at the stars and play Russian roulette. I love some. That sounds yeah. fun. Yeah. Is there anyone else in that? You're talking about yourself being alone. I, I mean, how's your love life? Actually, none of your business. <laughs> no, no, I jest. <laughs> I'm seeing a woman now who I really like a lot. She's 75 years old. <laughs> 75. Yeah, I met her. Uh, she was thrown out of a bingo game for cheating and drinking whiskey. <laughs> I met her out in the parking lot. And, uh, but, uh, you know, she feels uh, I was changing a tire. And she feels uh, <laughs> uncomfortable about our age difference and how old she, much older than she right, is. So I try to make yeah. her feel younger by wearing diapers. <laughs> and she, she's, uh, Always on the computer, like recently, she was up all night downloading pornographic bootleg Teletubbies. You can do that now? Yeah, apparently. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, she just got out of the hospital. I, w I haven't seen her in three weeks, and I'm looking forward to seeing her. She... I miss her a lot, and she, she just got out of the hospital. She had to have her stomach pumped, because I gave to her by accident what I thought was cotton candy, but it turned out to be insulation on a stick. <laughs> Lying around, huh? Yeah, I am. The uh, what's going on? You have you have some film projects in the film, work, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I have You're... a short film that's going on July third on the independent film. Which channel. one is that? It's called One Soldier. We we have seen yeah, that. It's a great movie. Yeah. I like that. movie. Thank you very much. It's about a guy getting out of the Civil War who's obsessed. Is there a God? Why are we here? Why are we alive? It's a comedy. <laughs> And then I'm in Amy Heckling's movie, Loser. It's coming Loser, out Loser, I keep July. hearing about that, yeah, it's that film. it's coming out July 21st. I may be cut out of that, though, because I'm asked, trying to buy the panties off a waitress in the movie, and they, they might cut it out because they don't know if they want that in. But if they do cut it out, I'm going to ask her if I can have the footage, and I'm going to release that as a short film. <laughs> <laughs> can you do that? I don't know. They, they I don't know. <laughs> They consider it a cameo, but I consider it a, a very small starring role. <laughs> Look forward to that. That's what's it, Which movie is that? Loser? Loser, yeah. And you may or may not be in it. Yes, so, it... yeah. I also was cut out... Years ago, I was cut out of uh, Apocalypse Now. Really? Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I'm trying to help you out there with the really, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. I don't really think... I uh, played a bullet, and, uh... <laughs> 
You know that when the helicopter, when the classical music coming out? There right, was a bullet right. they cut out of there. That was me. It's, you, you can't tell, though. It's seamless. <laughs> All right. Steven, you're going to be... I want to thank you. For what? I don't know yet. <laughs> You're going to be at the Ulster Performing Arts Center in Kingston, New York, tomorrow night. All right. <laughs> I just thought I should send you there. Stephen Wright, everybody. Oh, we'll be right back. John C. Riley, come on.